Hi there, I'm SR Coder and welcome back to part 7 of my ML API tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be using uh, network variables to synchronize player health across the network. As you can see, when a player gets shot, um, their health gets affected. Alright, so the first thing we really have to do is to, uh, let's get this player. And uh, what we need to do is we're going to put a player health script on him. So let's just create that right now. So a new C Sharp script and call it player health. And let's open that up in Visual Studio. Now we've added player health onto the player now. And uh, just to make sure we don't forget, and inside of Visual Studio, we'll just use the uh, add the usings that we need. So we're going to need a using ML API. And because we're using network variables, we're also going to need using ML API dot network variable. Um, now what we need to do is change this to a network behavior so that uh, it's a network ready object and um, we'll create our uh, network variable. We're going to create the network variable um, integer type for this one. So um, this will allow us to synchronize this uh, variable across the network and it will be automatically done for us so we don't need to concern ourselves about how and when. So the type of this variable, um, we've got lots of different options, but we're going to choose the uh, network variable int. And uh, the way you initialize it is we'll just give it a name here. We'll call it health and just initialize it by making a new one. Um, the good news is you can actually assign a value straight to this um, in, on initialization. So we'll give it a value of 100 for now. In order to be able to see it, um, inside the inspector so we can see what's happening. I'm going to make a public variable. Um, you can't make the network variable public, but we can make a an actual health variable. Um, it's a public int and um, we can uh, just set that to uh, something just now. And then what we'll do is inside of uh, the update function, we'll just make sure that we um, we uh, every frame will just set the actual health, the um, the public one that we can see in the inspector to the value of the health variable. And you'll notice you have to do health dot value for network variables to get the value of it. So we don't need start, so we'll get rid of that. And now let's just uh, take a little look and make sure this is on and I'll show you what I mean. So because um, we've got this public one, we can see it in there. The next step that we need to take is we need to make a publicly callable um, function to change this value. So I'm going to make a um, public uh, function, make a void return type, and we'll just call this take damage, and it'll take a single integer value, which will be the amount of damage you want to take off of their health. And this is going to be called by the raycast, obviously, when we do this in the shooting script. So uh, it's really simple. All we need to do is uh, say health.value uh, minus equals the amount of damage that you're going to be given. The next major step is obviously to get that raycast working. So let's go into the shooting script right now. Um, we're going to do this on the server. So after we've called the server RPC on the client, um, we're going to do the actual raycast collision tests on the server so that the damage will be done there um, because the network variable um, tends to uh, can only work really by default um, if the server changes it and then it gets propagated out to all the other clients. So we'll just do a simple raycast. We'll do so. It's an if physics dot raycast. Um, we're just going to use the gun barrel dot position. This could be better, but it'll do for now. It's the simplest way of doing it. So gun barrel dot position and gun barrel dot forward. Um, we'll need um, something to store the variable, uh, the return from the the raycast hit. So an out raycast hit. We'll call it hit, and we'll set a distance of two hundred for that. So they'll cast it forward two hundred. So we get to here. We've actually hit something. Um, and we need to check to see if it's actually a player or not. So um, we'll just create a simple um, enemy health variable and uh, try and get the component of the thing we hit. So hit dot transform dot get component, and we'll try and uh, get the player health component. And if it has that, then um, if it does have that, then we know that we have actually hit the the enemy. Um, so it was definitely a player if we get this point in code. So all we really need to do is to run our new method, which was the enemy health dot take damage, and we just randomly give that a value of ten, and uh, and then we'll test it. 
So before we test this, one of the key things you have to be aware of is that the um, the player here, uh, we're looking for the um, actual the character controller to be what um, detects the raycast. Unfortunately, what you need to do, and you need to make sure that you disable all of the uh, other colliders, otherwise they'll be the ones that get hit. And obviously, if this collider gets hit, then there's no player health um, component on this part of this game object. So make sure that you disable the capsule collider and uh, the collider, the box collider for this cube as well. And then everything should go fairly well. So I've got this set up ready to test. So I'm just going to run a host and a client um, on one side. And you should see that they've, we've got the two players once we're both in. And um, uh, it's difficult to work out which one's which, but you should see the health value is uh, displayed. And oh, I've got the wrong one. Um, so you see the health value is actually started off at 100 and it's gone down. So as you shoot it, you see the value goes down. So that's the, the basics of um, getting this working. The um, health variable is a network variable that is synchronized across the network. And because we're doing the raycasts on the server, the, uh, the changes get propagated down to all of them. And um, as I'm demoing here, you can see that it works um, on the other one too. So we have uh, the health gone down on the host as the client hits them. Um, and obviously it goes to negative. So we'll deal with that in the next video.